Schwinn. I am a third year physics major here at the University of California, Santa Barbara. And today, I'm going to take you all on a day throughout my life here at UCSD, just to show you some of the classes that I'm taking, as well as some of the things that I get up to in a day. But first, a little bit about me is that I grew up in San Francisco, California. And here at UCSD, apart from my major, I'm also pursuing a double minor in statistical sciences, as well as spatial science. My day usually starts pretty early. I have a lot of 8 a.m. classes this quarter, and so I'm generally um, heading straight to campus as soon as I wake up. I'm currently living in the Sierra Madre apartments this year, which are located about a mile away from campus. And while we do have a bus stop right outside our apartment complex, I do generally prefer to bike just because of that extra flexibility, but also because UCSB has a lot of infrastructure set up to support bikers. For example, we have the Associated Students Bike Shop, which can help students with repairs, and UCSB also has over seven miles worth of bike paths all throughout our campus. And so just getting around um, campus and getting to campus is definitely super convenient, and um, that's definitely my transportation of choice. So I just finished up my first class of the day, which is PSAT 128 on probability and statistics, which is for my minor. And that lecture is located in the chemistry building right there. And so now I'm just gonna head to DLG, which is one of four dining halls that UCSB has. And I'm gonna go get some breakfast. So let's go see what they have today. So I just had some breakfast and now I'm actually headed to the visitor center uh, because I'm scheduled to lead a campus tour today. Um, so that's just going to be about an hour long. I'm going to take some families uh, throughout UCSB and kind of share what it's like to be a student here. Um, so I have that until 12 before I head off to my next meeting. Hi everybody, welcome to UCSB. My name is Schwinn. Uh, I am a third year physics major here at UCSB with a double minor in statistical sciences as well as spatial studies. And on our campus, I'm involved in astrophysics research. Um, and I'm also a photographer for our student-run newspaper, The Daily Nexus. After my tour, I head to the office of The Daily Nexus, UCSB's independent and student-run newspaper. And our office is located right beneath Stork Tower at the center of campus. Our photography section has a meeting every Monday where we gather to discuss photo story ideas, share pictures that we've taken in the past couple of days, or just catch up with friends. After finishing my morning classes, I generally like to spend my afternoons in the library getting some work done. The second floor of the library is my favorite place to study on campus and this is where I'll be this afternoon. Um, I'll be here for a couple of hours before I had to head over to Broida Hall, our physics building, for a club meeting. I've often been asked why it is that I chose to study physics, and I guess there's two parts to my answer. The practical reason is that I want to pursue a career in engineering in the future. I've always wanted to have the skills to be able to build things to solve problems, and I like that engineers are able to come up with ideas and actually be able to implement them. But the idea of choosing a specific field of engineering to devote years of my life to was not something that I felt prepared to do back in high school, and so physics was just the safest option for me, as it would set me up with a good foundation to then later pursue really any sort of engineering that I wanted to, just later on down the road, either in grad school or directly in industry. And so now, having interacted with other engineering majors and getting to know more about what it is that each field is really about, just through talking to faculty members here at UCSB or engaging with professionals during career fairs, I've decided that I want to go into mechanical engineering after graduation. And so my current plan is to apply both for a master's and ME upon graduation, while also applying for some jobs. And when the time comes, I'll see what I end up choosing. Now, as for the second part of my answer, I also chose to study physics because I've always been really curious, and physics is all about finding solutions to things that we don't understand. I love that I'm able to just learn about how things happen, kind of the reasoning behind phenomena that I can 
um, observe in my day-to-day -day life, such as how air pressure is the reason why the planes that I take to go home are able to fly, or even how the GPS systems that we use have to account for relativistic effects, which are things that I never really thought of or even considered before taking these classes and learning about them. And I'm also pursuing an astrophysics concentration within my major, and so I'm able to take these specialized classes that are exactly on the things I want to learn about, such as the physics of planets and stars, both of which I'm currently taking now. And I just love being able to gaze up at the night sky and imagining all the things and all the mysteries that await us out there. And taking these classes allows me to just better understand what it is that I'm really looking at. And so not only is pursuing physics helping me build a better foundation for my future, but it's also allowing me to just learn about things that I genuinely want to know more about. And that really does make my experience studying here at UCSB all the more enjoyable. And it really encourages to just engage with my peers in the major and engaging with faculty members, some of our uh, really amazing professors who are just so knowledgeable about their respective right, fields. So I just finished up the meeting for POINT and I want to talk a little bit about what that club actually is. So POINT stands for Physics Organization for Innovation and Technology and what the club does is that our members are able to just form groups every quarter and take on different projects that are of interest to us. So for example this quarter I decided that I want to work on an all-sky camera which is basically just this um, super wide angle lens um, attached to a camera uh, which can capture the entire night sky uh, at once. And I think it would make for some really cool videos, really cool pictures, um, and I just want to see if I can build a camera from scratch. And so we're just going to uh, buy the parts that we need, maybe 3D print some of the other ones, um, and just see if we can put a camera together on our own. And so I'm just working with a group of a couple of other physics students, though anyone um, who is interested and things like this can join the club um, and we do have a faculty member uh, Professor Lubin who is sponsoring our project and so something really interesting about point is that uh, Some of our projects are sponsored by faculty members and so that can be a great way to just build relationships with professors and kind of plant the seeds for um, if we ever want to do research later on with a professor uh, Point can be a really good starting point for students to get connected After getting dinner on campus or on Isla Vista, I usually like to spend my evenings closer to my apartment, and so I'll usually be working in one of the study rooms in either the Tanaya or Sierra Madre apartments. Today I'm working on some coding for an independent research project that I'm working on. Collaborating with Professor Brand from the physics department, I want to see if I can measure the lunar distance just by taking a series of pictures of the full moon and then considering variations in the diameter of the moon over the span of a single so this night. this is the setup that I'm using for my project. I just have this 500 millimeter lens attached to my camera and the entire thing is set up on an equatorial mount which is just this motorized tripod that allows me to track the moon as it moves across the night sky and so here I'm able to manually adjust the angle of my camera but um, when I'm actually taking pictures this movement would be much slower and it would be fully automatic and so I could just leave this here and my camera would just track the moon. And so every picture that I take, even if they may be taken hours apart, the framing of the moon will uh, be consistent for all of my shots. And also I have this remote here set up so that I'm taking a picture every five minutes. And so essentially for this project, what I wanna do is that I want to take a picture of the moon every five minutes for a couple of hours. Um, usually I'll do it for three or four. And so I'll be able to just compare how the moon looks and the different shots I'm able to get and throw that into some software. All right, I'm back in my room now. It's been a long but pretty productive day and I'm glad I was able to share it with all of you. I hope you found some of my day informative, some of it interesting, maybe a little bit of both. But I'm going to call it a night here. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll see you all on campus sometime. Bye.